Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle Krieger here, and today I have a special guest with me. Who? <laughs> I wish Tyler. it were Luna. Why can't oh. it be Luna? <laughs> so today we're gonna do a video on creating change in social media. So we have the one and only Tyler Oakley here. <laughs> With us because he's one who inspires me to use a platform to do good stuff with it and to make a change. Thanks. Yeah. I just feel like if you have people listening, whether it's one person or a million people or whatever in between, it's like, why not do something that you would have needed? Do something good because you can. Speaking of that, you have a very great series out. Yeah. Which I- That you're in. That I am so excited mm -hmm. to be in. Yeah, so it's called Chosen Family, Stories of Queer Resilience. I knew I wanted to do something for Pride Month and then it turned into this huge eight part series where we explore a bunch of different topics, whether it's Pulse, Stonewall, Refugees, a big collab that you're in that's like this round table of LGBTQ plus YouTubers where we like talk about hot topics. Which is so good. Um, it was so, so fun. Yeah. So excited, yeah. Put it all together in this little series called No, Shows I'm so family. glad you did it. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things that I've ever seen you do. Thank besides you. the video on my channel. Please. God bless. <laughs> yeah. We, I will say our uncut video was iconic. Our, um, <laughs> Naming things uh, yeah. collab, also iconic. Which is, I want to talk about why you think it's important to use your voice um, for civil rights and social change and marginalized people and anything really. To me, history is happening. I think about, okay, however many years ago were my parents or were my grandparents standing up for people that needed to be stood up for, yeah. but like right now, there are people that are being disenfranchised as we speak. And so like, are you on the right side of history? If you say nothing, then that's compliance. That's saying that's okay. You're being complicit in right. what's going on. But the idea that you can make change and you can have a voice and stand up for something no matter what platform you have. Yeah. No I matter mean, if you have one follower or five million. That is my biggest piece of advice to anybody out there is that like you don't realize how powerful you are. How you spend your money dictates how they run their business. And when you are loud with how you spend your money, that can change that business and how they run their business. How you vote has a huge impact. That's the, one of the strongest things you can do in a democracy mm -hmm. is vote for elected officials that are keeping your best interests at heart when you hold them accountable by calling them. And they'll listen. If you call, they listen. Right. Those little things, just as one human, can have huge impact. But then when you organize with your, maybe your followers or even your friends or your family. Okay, well, what can I do in my little community? And if everyone thought that way, the impact that can happen. So I, yeah, voting, I mean, this past year, it really inspired me also to be like, let's get, like tweeting every week. Like we have well, to Well, I vote. just, I'm a be real. I see YouTubers not say a damn thing. Yeah. And then have the fucking audacity to complain about Trump now. Yeah. And I'm like, sis, where were you? Mm -hmm. Like, I would much rather see YouTubers stand up for something. And it's not for everyone. Right. I get that not every, but like maybe I don't have the correct words or maybe I don't know how to talk about certain issues, but like I still have an opportunity to amplify people that can right. or do. Maybe let's do a few do's and don'ts for people getting at this. Okay. We don't have all the answers. That's, well, that's my first do. Yeah. Do know that you know nothing <laughs> and be open to learning. Nobody is born with a sociology degree. Nobody knows what's problematic or the history of certain phrases or actions. Often when you fuck up mm -hmm. is when you're able to grow the most. I surely have learned that. Uh, so <laughs> being open to like learning, that's a good do. Yeah. A big don't for me is what I learned about being an ally. It's not to go over the people that you're fighting for mm. and to amplify their voice, to help them speak for themselves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I clear the path if you can. Yeah, that is so that is so good. And I feel like we are two white yeah. gay cisgender men. It is not my place to speak for people who can speak from a personal place about race, gender, or sexuality. If it's not my lane, then it's not for me to speak on. Um, one of my favorite things about this past year and these past couple years that I've been online is everyone getting active mm -hmm. and everyone showing up. You can show up in so many ways. You can volunteer, you can vote, you can go to a parade, you can go to a rally, you can march down the streets, whatever, right. but yeah. you have to show up and to bring a friend. Family. The best accessory for any type of protest or any type of volunteer thing is your best friend. A don't is don't criticize maybe how people are activists. Mm. People can care about multiple things at once and dedicate their time and energy to multiple things at once. 
or I've even done it myself, tweet about a pop album that just came out, and then in the next tweet, I'm tweeting about how important it is to get out and vote. <laughs> and plus, like, sometimes you need that pop album as self-care, because <laughs> yeah. this world and what, all the things that we have to care about and fight for can get exhausting. The new Lord album is important. <laughs> it <laughs> really is. is. Super cut all the way. All the way. And then another big do is to take care of yourself. Take breaks. It's like, I always think of activism as a relay race mm -hmm. where we are working together and I can't run the whole race myself, right. but as a community, I can pass the baton off and say, I need to take a moment <laughs> uh, to yes. take care of me so that I can mentally be here when I need to run back into the race. Another do that Tyler and I know really well is to share your story, to share about what's going on and the way that you see the world. Because people who see your story will see what matters to you and when you're talking about something that you're passionate about, it is easier to get other people on board about what you love and about what is going on. Thanks so much for coming uh, today. I'm wearing one of your shirts. Do you uh, want to tell them about? This shirt is uh, in support of the International Rescue Committee, which helps refugees. And that one was uh, for supporting the Drew Project, which is in memory of um, Drew Leinenen, who was a Pulse victim, helps create GSAs in schools. Thank you for everything you do. Shush. And if Thank you, you want... for everything you do. Thanks. Thank you to everything you do. <laughs> yeah, if you want to find Tyler Oakley on Instagram or Twitter, you can at Tyler Oakley. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter too, at Kyle Krieger Hair. And I'm gonna put some links down below for ways for you guys to get involved. Also, oh. if you have a do or a don't for being an activist, let us know in the comments. Because like we said, I... we don't have all the answers, but maybe you guys will have a tip too. And go to Tyler's page and see the video that I was in too. Oh yeah. Because I want you guys to see that. Wait, who really else was great. in the video? Hannah Hart was in it. Cat Black. Cat Black was in it. Kingsley. Dylan Marin, Kingsley. It was so fun. Yeah. Go give us some love. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>